I think I'm a very lucky person. I can tell you at every point in my life, you see, I never would have become a mathematician if it hadn't been for Sputnik. I never would have been able to get a job on the faculty without the women's movement of the 60s. I took advantage of my luck. It's about a mile back to my house from here. It's nice to see what the river's doing. Everyone makes a big deal about the fact that I'm the first woman to get the Abo Prize. All you have to do is look at history, and it's clear. I was in the first generation of women for whom the classes and the positions and the opportunities were available. Let's uh, toast Karen and <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> the things that I'm known for are actually not that hard to explain. The object that you're actually treating is not a function. You're looking for the whole thing. This is the curvature. We have this action integral, critical points, the Yang-Mills equations. Equations imply a symmetry group. It's magical. It depends on the group. There exists a gauge transformation, the appropriate norm That took me several years. This is called the Coulomb gauge. Somebody had to do this. It wasn't, it isn't really all that hard a theorem. And uh, I was just there, I was just ahead of the pack. That would be the right way, I, that would be the way I would put it here. I spend most of my time in this chair. I work like this. I have journal or pad or something and I work like this. I write my journal in different colors just because I like colors. This is me when I was five years old. I remember sitting for it. This is, this is from a photograph, that's me. And I'm drawing. I had some time, period of time in which I couldn't do mathematics. And at that time I did a lot more drawing and painting and some music and stuff. Oh yeah. I actually like uh, the ones that are grown outside. Bob, why don't you twirl me around? Bob? Yeah, right, there we go, see? <laughs> I remember a very interesting incident. I was living in Champaign-Urbana and I actually visited her a lot. And at some point I arrived, what I had on for shoes were running shoes, probably Adidas. Nobody wore running shoes in the 70s. They were horrified. I don't have the right shoes on for sure. <laughs> right. And uh, I always find the story amusing because of course 10, 15, 20 years later, that's all people wore were running shoes. But the most interesting thing is, is they still quote my theorems, which are 40 years old, so. I still like to do math.